Women of Reddit, what is something that men say or do that is very hurtful to you without them realizing it is? I'm a huge fan of astronomy and one time this guy overheard me saying it, and said really? What's the planet with the most moons? At the time, Jupiter had the most moons and I said it was Jupiter. He claimed that I was wrong and wanted me to Google it so we could be sure. Of course I was right, and he said you're a little show off, aren't you, and left. I just didn't understand why he had to question my statement. Still don't. I grew up in the South and, even though I'm a man, I've witnessed this one numerous times and heard the gripes about it. If a woman is alone when making major purchases like cars or homes they'll get some version of the is your husband around to talk to. Just very dismissive of a woman's ability to make decisions on her own. Automatically assuming that you're worse slash weaker than them at something, just because you're a girl. Then proceed to act surprised or just not acknowledge if you beat them. I've met a lot of guys who still don't get that you should smile more is an absolute asshat thing to say. It makes women feel like we're mere decorations in men's lives, and don't comprehend that it's not our job to make men's days more pleasant. When I got flashed by a creep on a late night deserted commute, and my male friend couldn't understand why it was fucked up, since he wouldn't mind being flashed by a woman. I hate when random men tell me I should smile. I am very handy and love DIY, my husband couldn't care less about home improvement projects, landscaping, etc. So, most of the tools and equipment we own were purchased and are used by me. I hate it when men will assume I don't know how to use my husband's tools or that he should be the one fixing things. Like my tiny woman brain can't handle power tools or basic plumbing. I get cut off a lot. So I've pretty much stopped talking to everybody. What's the point of wasting my breath right? Edit, thank you for the silver, I didn't expect this to blow up. When men feel like they have to test women when they mention that they have interests that are typically considered masculine. I'm a huge, American, football fan and have been playing for almost a decade now but sometimes when I tell men about it, they're all like oh really? Name all of the insert team name here as previous coaches or something like that. I'm a female electrician who works mostly oil field. I get a lot of sweetheart or honey when I'm running a job. You would never address a dude journeyman like that, so dumb. Are you on your period, when I'm angry and then not listen to a word I'm saying? Many of my male friends or acquaintances, and even my dad, like to talk to my husband about how his job is going, but rarely ask me about mine. I make nearly the same paycheck and have a fairly interesting job that I've worked hard to get, but I think they think I'd rather talk about my social life, family, or hobbies before anything else. It's sad to not be questioned about something I spend all day doing. If a man gets it wrong it's because the task is complex. If a woman gets it wrong it's because she's a woman. I study computer science and I like it because I have a logical and problem-solving oriented mind, meaning I never did any coding before uni because it is not my passion. The amount of times in which I asked a guy to help me breaking my code only to see his expression of pride and arrogance are countless. It pissed me off if I raise a doubt about a task and I get patronized, even if I score much higher grades than many guys in my course. When men don't believe the huge anecdotal evidence that every woman slash girl I know has about sexual assault. I've told male friends about that, many, times I have been assaulted in a club slash crowd and they tell me it can't be true. Sorry, do you think I mistook having my vulva grabbed for something else? So I'm studying something that could be classified as very feminine. And my boyfriend is studying something that would be classified as male-dominated and sometimes when we're arguing about how we need to clean and we just don't have the time he says that what he's doing is much more difficult than what I'm doing. That's really hurtful. It takes a lot to get me angry but anytime a guy tries to push me into doing something it rubs me the wrong way. It could be something super innocent but if I say no and he keeps trying to pressure me into doing it, it shows that he has no respect for me or what I want and only cares about getting what he wants. Unfortunately a lot of guys do it, it's like a game to them to see how far they can get. I don't know men that say this but my mom always says that's not very ladylike or that's not very becoming. She's only in her 50s, it's not like she was born in those sort of times either. I just hate it. Also when men say you should smile more you should move your face more cause of my resting bitch face. 
Yeah, you're right, but doesn't mean you should say it. My dad once told me you'll make a man very happy one day because I'm thrifty and don't spend a lot of money. I told him it won't matter if I'm thrifty or not because I'll be making my own money. My so has deep-rooted personal issues he has gotten better about but not gotten over regarding his family for some backstory. When a member of his family does something that makes me upset, he'll tell me you've been around them long enough you know how they are, or invalidate me being upset in some way, but he has complained about them excessively and for things that happened back to his early teens. Facepalm Sometimes when I say that I don't like to cook or that I hate little kids and don't want children some guys don't care but some guys ask, I thought you were a woman. That really hurts and it is extremely disrespectful. Talking about female topics, periods, pregnancy, birth, with tons of disgust in their voice. Fetishizing bisexuality. It's not a man-only thing but in my experience if I say I'm bi most men will joke about it immediately I are ask if I'm into threesomes. When you say something and it immediately has to be fact-checked via Google even over trivial shit. Just how focused on physical traits some men seem to be. Obviously I'm including picking women apart weighing them up based on how appealing they are to men's personal tastes, but I also hate to be consistently complimented on nothing but how hot they find me. It's generally flattering to be told you're attractive, sure, and a reminder here and there from your partner that they find you sexy is key but if there's a guy you're getting to know or whatever, and all they ever compliment you on is your body, it starts to feel insulting. I have a mind and a personality too, you know, and it feels like all you care about is how I look. OMG so many things but the worst is when they say you can't take a joke when you get mad slash upset about a joke about you or women in general. I do have a sense of humor but when every joke you make is at my expense in some way it isn't funny it's irritating and exhausting. Like somehow you constantly insulting me and my entire gender is my problem because you laughed when you said it so I just can't take a joke? Get out of here with that shit. My least fav is when men won't just let me be upset about something they said. They have to gaslight me until I agree with them that they didn't do anything wrong. I just want to be allowed to have hurt feelings or feel unsafe when that's organically my response to the situation. I hate when I've spent literally hours deep cleaning a room have it super pretty and pristine, and then a guy will come in and it's like a twister ran through. Smelly socks and shoes discarded on the ground, plates of half-eaten food on the table, decorative pillows all tossed around, like I want you to be comfortable but for fuck's sake it only takes a minute to just clean up after yourself. And this is not just one guy, either. My dad, my mom's boyfriends over the years, my husband, though he's doing better about it these days, my friends, it's ridiculous. I feel like there's an expectation that I'll just come through and clean it all up again like a little fairy maid and I hate it. Saying good girl. Very patronizing. I have two degrees mate, don't need you to congratulate me slash seem shocked when I do something that someone with like two IQ points could do face with rolling eyes. My husband's work friends often dismiss me when I try to say anything, or they ignore my comments as I'm five years younger and have a baby face but I'm in the exact same line as he is and just as successful. I guess what hurts is that I would consider them friends but to them I am underscore 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 as wife. And they have never taken the time to see what I do for a living. Most are surprised I know anything at all. When he won't admit he's wrong even after fact checking. That I am expected to know how to do laundry, keep the flat tidy and cook because I'm better at it. Why am I better at it? Like even when they know how to do these things themselves they always assume that I want to do it because I like a tidy apartment? And then when asked to do it themselves being hit with the good old yes but I'm a guy, I'm not as good at this sort of stuff as you. In 2020. Shoot me now. Constantly voicing their thoughts on women's looks. Positive and negative. I don't know why men do this. I don't think they realize it. I don't need to hear every time you think a woman is ugly or attractive or funny looking. It's hyper analytical. I don't think men would be fond of it if women decided to join in on this. Men referring to me as girl especially in a professional setting. No I am a grown ass woman, not a child. But to be fair, there are some women that do this as well. I do correct anyone that refers to a grown woman as a girl.